Welcome back everybody, another week, another update This is update version 0.66 So a few things, uh, lots of props this time around um, But before I go into the props, one of the uh, quality of life feature that I've added was uh, pre uh, preset management So if you hit escape and you go to change bay, you know you can specify the different types of presets that you support You can also add new presets and remove presets but one of the things is, you know, sometimes this list can go really long and if you want to delete some of these presets that you don't need anymore, you click on that, right, and then you hit minus. Uh, previously, what happens was when you hit minus, it jumped to the last one all the time. So, it, so if you have a long list, it makes it very problematic trying to jump back here. So I made it more natural now. So if you are here and if you hit delete, it will just stay and move to the next one. So if you want to delete the, the last four here, all you do is just hit delete 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 so that simplifies things and that hopefully helps uh, with uh, your preset management the other new things I have for you are all props uh, very interesting props so the first one here is the twist and drop with no shoot prop which is uh, I have no idea what you actually call this but I decided to call it twist and drop with no shoot so this is the target here and really cool because what happens is there's like a drop turner behind this no shoot and so when you activate it, the drop turner will turn, show itself, and then drop to sh only expose like the upper A zone. So, so you have a set number of seconds to shoot it when it's made uh, available, and then it just hides behind. So if I go over and drop this, and let's link this to this. So now if you go over to simulation mode and you shoot it, you see it turns and then it drops. Right? So I saw this in one of the matches on YouTube, and I thought this would be pretty fun, so I did that. Uh, the other uh, the other two props are basically mini props, uh, props with mini targets. Uh, and so one of them is a, a mini bobber, a double mini bobber. So what you would probably d do with this design is you do that and you probably drop a wall here and bring it down and just hide this behind the wall like that. And then uh, another prop is a mini swinger. So like that. So maybe you can put it here. Just hide it, or oh, maybe hang on. This is the right swinger. I don't want this one. I want the left swinger. Let's do this like that. And then you go to activation mode. You wire up these two props here. Wire up the first prop. Wire up the second prop. If I go with the simulation mode and I shoot, you see that it reveals itself like that, which I think is pretty cool, right? Uh, shooting mini targets is something that I don't think we are pretty accustomed to in real life. So I thought, you know, if you can design a stage. To do that, that would be pretty interesting. And the last one is a, a basically more of an aesthetic set of props, is which is basically Western buildings. You see this a lot in uh, cowboy action, and also some ranges that I've seen that have Western buildings uh, because they have uh, SAS cowboy shooting in those ranges. So sometimes they use those as props for uh, use those buildings as props. So if you go over to uh, props over here. You see now you have a bunch of buildings over here. So you have like a, a, a shed, right? And then you have uh, maybe a um, blacksmith building here that you can actually put props behind. And then you have, what else do you have here? You have a office building maybe, you know, things like that. You can actually put, you know, some ta some targets back here. Hang on, let me just do that. So put some targets back here, you know. You can shoot it through the window and stuff like that. Uh, what else do I have? I have um, go over here to props. We have the bank. These are pretty large. You can o these are all resizable, right? You can you can make it smaller, but you make it kind of unrealistic if you make it smaller like that. And then you have the hut, which is a decrepit hut here. And then you have a salon, saloon, a uh, sheriff office, and then a storefront. Right, I made I made the buildings open back here so you can actually put targets back here and build your own stage that way. And I have a water tower, which looks pretty gigantic, and windmill, gallows, which you can actually go up, right? So pretty cool if you can put a target up here like that. I don't know. I mean, be creative. And the last one is maybe just a, like a hitch for, for for tying your horses. So so you can now dress up your uh, IPSEC, USPSA, IDPA stages, make it more scenario based. Or if you're into cowboy shooting, then you can also use this to do your cowboy shooting stages. 
and then we have uh, obviously uh, cowboy cowboy shooting stages have steel so you can have uh, lots of steel for sas uh, cowboy shooting type of stages yeah but yeah so those are the new updates for version 0.66 and i hope you like it again if you have any feedback please go over to the menu here and give me feedback provide feedback here or you can go over to the discord channel the link to the discord channel is in the youtube description below otherwise have a great weekend guys and see you on the range